This year I ain't playing, I'm on a mission. I don't see no competition. Waiting my turn and I play my position. Sat in the room, I ain't talking that list. What's up, everybody? Dave here, JDH Reptiles. We have clutch update number three. This was a tough one. So, the pairing on this one, the female is a pastel spot nose clown. The original pairing was a male, excuse me, a male red stripe leopard G stripe hat clown. And then I accidentally put in a second male right at the end, which was a fire redhead spot nose. So I was hoping that the original male would sire the clutch. Unfortunately, it looks like we got a double sired clutch. So can only, I can only guess there's two that were sired by the second male and two or three were sired by the first male. We're gonna break down everything I see here and uh, you guys are more than welcome to post your comments down below with what you think everything is. I reached out to four or five different breeders and together with my guesses and their guesses, this is kind of the culmination of what we come up with. So I'll let you know what I think everything is, if it differs from what other people thought, and, um, and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna lower the camera down and um, let's jump into the first one. Okay, this is number one. This is a female. This animal we actually are giving away, so this animal is not available. I believe, so my guess on this was a leopard spot nose red stripe. If that's the case, well, it's leopard and spot nose for sure. Some people agree that it's red stripe. Some people think it could be red stripe. Some people think that it's not red stripe. Uh, the head, a little brick color red there. I think it's probably red stripe. The best part is the person getting this animal can shed test for red stripe. Um, otherwise, there, the air people just said it's a leopard spot nose. However, because the leopard spot nose, that means it is double hat for genetic stripe and clown. Because the male that sired the clutch was a visual G stripe and the female was a visual clown. So, leopard spot nose, double hat G stripe clown, possible red stripe. That's the first one. All right, here is the second one. Now this is where things got a little bit tricky. I, until it shed, I thought this was a super spot nose. Now I can tell it is just a spot nose. However, I believe it is a fire spot nose. I originally thought maybe there was redhead in it. I've never produced a redhead clutch. So I'm not 100% sure about that. A um, couple people said fire spot nose. One person said redhead spot nose with no fire. And then uh, the last person said fire spot nose. So with that being said, if it is in fact fire, it's definitely not pastel. It's not just a spot nose. So I'm assuming fire spot nose or redhead spot nose. So. If that's the case, that means this was sired by the fire redhead uh, spot nose, which would make this a 100% hat clown, no hat for G stripe. So this one is uh, this one is a male. We're not keeping it, um, and it looks like it's fire spot nose, possible redhead. Going by what we see here. I would say it's not fire redhead, only because it doesn't look like uh, the dad. So it's either redhead spot nose or fire spot nose, probably fire spot nose, and that's hat clown. So that's the second one, male, fire, spot nose, hat clown. All right, this is the third one, and I didn't put these in this order, just so you know this is the way they shed out. So we're going to bounce back and forth again. This one is a visual clown. So that means that it has to come from the red stripe leopard G stripe pet clown. This is a pastel Batman. So that would mean this is pastel leopard spot nose clown. 
It is het for G-Stripe. Um, it is a male. And, you know, when I look at the coloration on the top here, originally I thought maybe it was red stripe. But I would expect there to be more coloration in the side if it was red stripe. So I think this is correct. I think this is pastel. Uh, pastel bat or yeah, pastel Batman. So pastel leopard spot nose clown, hundred percent head G stripe. It's a male, so it'll make a really really nice male to go into projects to make the kiki stuff. Um, I am going to shed test this one, I believe, to make sure it's not red stripe. If it is, it's going to stay here. If it's not, it may be available, but it'll be a while before I know for sure. I'm going to hold on to it for the time being. So that was number three. All right, number four. This one is also a male. <laughs> so it's funny. I look at this and I say pastel spot nose all day long. Pastel spot nose. I've had three other people say, yep, pastel spot nose. And one person said, just a pastel. So here's the problem. Doesn't matter if it's pastel, doesn't matter if it's pastel spot nose. Those are the jeans the mom had. Since I don't see anything else, no redhead, no red stripe, no fire. I don't know who the sire is. So this is definitely het clown, possible het for G stripe. But it had to be shed test to see if it's het for G stripe. At that time, you will then know who the sire of the animal is. Uh, but yeah. I say pastel spot nose. One person says pastel. I think pastel spot nose all day long. You can feel free to put your comment down below. Number four. All right, here is the last animal. This one is so cool. It's a female. It's staying here. This is, so, okay, it's definitely a Powerball, which is a super spot nose. So that means it's Het Clown, not Het for genetic stripe. It's so white. It's so clean. I originally thought it was Firefly, so Pastel Fire, super spot nose. I had a couple other people agree. I have one person who says it's a pastel super spot nose and I have one person that says fire super spot nose. So I don't know um, at this time it's fine it's a female I'm going to keep it anyways and grow it up. The Powerball clown stuff is amazing so I'm in you know I, I don't care right now I'm just going to keep it I'm going to grow her up. And in a couple of years, we'll see. Uh, it is a Powerball. It does already have a slight wobble, I noticed, to it. You pick it up. And it seems to do fine, but when it gets excited, it kind of twists around a little bit. Its head tilts a little bit. It's kind of the unfortunate part of making Powerballs. Um, some are a little goofy and some aren't. But this one looks like... There you go. This one looks like it is a little bit. But such a cool-looking animal. Uh, whatever it may be it's awesome it's hat for clown and uh, we're gonna hold this female back all right guys so that's clutch three uh, we're gonna do an egg cutting on clutch four here in a day or two uh, actually you're probably gonna see this video on Friday it's currently Wednesday so we may do the clutch cutting for clutch four, the egg cutting for clutch four, uh, Friday or Saturday it means you guys will probably see the video Monday or Tuesday. But yeah, this is Clutch 3, so we now got Clutch 1, 2, and 3 out. They haven't been offered any meals. They will probably in about a week I'll offer their first meal. We have animals listed from Clutch 1 and Clutch 2 already on our Morph Market. Those are uh, listed down below. That link to my Morph Market page is listed down below. We have 34 other animals from either last year or years before that are all available in on our Morph Market page as well. If there's anything I can do for you guys at any time, please let me know. We are going to do another 
Patreon giveaway on July 10th. So if you're not part of our Patreon and you'd like to be able to get in on a free snake giveaway, you need to join our Patreon before July 10th. That link is down below. Any tier, the Patreon tier, the Breeder tier, or the Egg Layer tier, doesn't matter which one you choose. I do recommend you look through all of them though because there are discounts associated with each of those tiers. And I tell everybody, if you're gonna be part of our Patreon, you wanna do so because you wanna get that money that you spend back in the form of discounts. If there's animals you like, animals you wanna buy from us, you wanna take 10, 20, or 30% off of, you wanna pick the correct tier to make that money back on the purchase of animals. Because even though I try and do videos for these, you know, the Patreon, I'm always there to help. We have a Patreon chat, etc. I would like to see you guys not spend money. Instead, you invest in the Patreon, you get all that money back on the animals you purchase with the amount of discounts you get off of those animals. So, that's gonna do it for today. I appreciate you swinging by, like, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.